This is Bomb Hoops Podcast. Hi everyone, we're on Palm Hoops Podcast hosted by Jem and Jello and make sure to like, comment, share this video and subscribe. Click the notification bell to be updated on our newest releases. Don't forget to follow our social media accounts. Just check the description down below for the details. And guys, don't forget that this episode is also available in Spotify, Anchor, and Google Podcast. Links are also in the description. And guys, and also if you are a podcaster from the Philippines and gusto mong monetize your podcast mo, Go to podmetrics.co and use our code Palm Hoops Podcast when you register. Yeah, na screen yan and nasa description din yan for your reference. That is Palm Hoops Podcast. Para pag nag-register ka, mamamonetize na rin yung podcast mo. Natulungan mo pa kami. Let's build our community dito sa Filipino podcasting community. And tulungan natin isa't isa to make money out of our passion. Again, use podmetrics.co when you are a Filipino podcaster and use our code Palm Hoops Podcast. Mm. And use our Shopee affiliate link kung plano nyo gumawa ng mga online shopping, may mga naka-add to cart kayo na plano, plano nyo nang bilin. Uh, use our affiliate link. That is podlink.co slash 99. And nasa screen nyo yan, display para makakuha kayo ng mga additional vouchers, mga discounts, etc. So, huwag kayo matakot na hindi Shopee.com yung nakalagay. Uh, it will automatically... Um, redirect you to Shopee pag ginamit yung link namin. So, ayan, don't forget to use our Shopee affiliate link. Ayan, guys. Ayan, guys, uh, it's been a week and we are back. Actually, medyo natagalan. Nagpahinga kami sandali ni Jem. Uh, just needed to recharge a bit. Pero ayan, we are back and this episode, we have something to celebrate, I guess. And it's the championship of the 2021 NBA Finals. Mm-hmm. At ang nanalo nga is no other than the Milwaukee Bucks. So, ayan. Ayan. So, kung Congrats naaalala, <laughs> kung naaalala nyo, meron kaming kasunduan ni Jello kasi medyo boring yung final sa amin since wala yung <laughs> Lakers. Lakers eh. So, para maging, para may kampihan naman kami. Ano, meron kami wager na pag, nata- mag, pag natalo yung Bucks, bibili ako ng Draymond Green na jersey. Hmm. Which is yung pinakaayo kong player ngayon sa NBA. Pero pag si Jello naman, eh, um, I mean, la- rather kung natalo yung Suns, si Jello naman bibili ng Clippers na Paul George na jersey. Mm. Okay so, lang, maganda naman yung jersey. <laughs> <laughs> ayun. Anyway, so ayun, um, let, let us recap. Ano ba nangyari sa series na to? Um, actually, I called it na box in six, pero hindi ko inexpect na ganun kadikdikan yung laban. I expected na ano eh, na first few games... Kontrolado ng Suns kasi understandable eh, may home court advantage sila eh. Pero ano eh, yung mga sinasabi ng mga tao, ng mga media na hindi daw nag adjust si Mike Budenholzer, scam yun. Kasi nakita naman natin yung adjustments eh. And siguro factor na din na yung recovery din ni Yanis. Kasi nung game 1 talagang medyo pahinay-hinay pa siya eh. Pero game 2 onwards parang nag-back to 100% na siya. Mm, grabe na yung performance na ginawa ni Yanis. Imagine, 50 points sa closing game ng series to win the finals MVP, di ba? Uh, mm. The last player to score 50 points, I think, in the finals game was LeBron James in 2018. Mm. Oh, and that came in a loss. Por zero yun. Oh, and <laughs> yun for Yanis, Smith. Yun yun oh, yun 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 Smith. So, for Yanis to do it in a series clinching game, grabe. Talagang all heart Tsaka ano Na kabawi siya kay Chris Paul Nung trash ako kay Chris Paul Na he doesn't make his free throws By oh. going 16 of 17 Pare, 17 of 19? Tama ba? Oh, parang ganun Oh, get 17 of 19 That is around 90% So Ganyan So sa mga magiging kalaban ni Anis Huwag nyo nalang galitin oh, Huwag nyo nalang patulan eh. Kasi huwag gumagaling eh Huwag nyo binibilangan na tutulungan Oh Parang ano nga eh, sabi nga nung isa ko nakitang comment sa Twitter, yung binibilang daw nila is yung ano, magiging rings ni Yanis sa buong karir niya. So, makakasampu siya. No? I Baka doubt. I doubt. Siya, no? <laughs> Ewan natin, pero let's see. Kasi at age 26, grabe na yung resume ni Yanis. Oo, oh, grabe. If he retired today, nasa Hall of Fame na siya. <laughs> Kasi ano, at age 26, he's a two-time MVP. 
He is a most improved player. He is a two-time and then, then, one-time, one-time defensive, defensive player of the year. Multiple-time All-NBA at multiple-time All-Defensive. Mm. So, with that alone at age 26, I believe hindi pa na-achieve ni Jordan or Lebron yung ganyang kinds of ano. Mm. And he has something na wala si Lebron, yung Defensive Player of the Year. Mm. Na, well, Lebron came close and I think nanakawan niya siya uh, ng DPOY ni Mark Gasol. Pero ano eh, um, si Anis nakuha niya eh. So, mm. ayun. Basically kasi Yanis and Tatokumpo is LeBron James without the unlikable parts. <laughs> mm. Para ma ano, malinis. Parang nung oh. ginagawa siya ni Lord, hindi kita lalagyan ng kayabangan. <laughs> oh, ay alam mo yung YouTuber na ano, yung Yo, naglalagay ng tubig. Naglalagay ng tubig. <laughs> ayun. Walang ano, walang nilagay na kayabangan dun kay Yanis. Oh. Pero ganda rin kasi na ano eh ng ng story ng buhay ng Tatokumpo family eh na ano sila, refugees Street sila. Vendors. Oo. Tapos nakarating sila ng Greece. Na nagbebenta sila ng CDs, ng mga cassettes. Mm. Grabe, grabe yung journey nila, Yanis, sa NBA. And then, uh, uh, all the three antitokumpos na nasa NBA ngayon, NBA champions na. Isa na lang, yung wala pa sa NBA. Oo, oh, yung wala pa sa NBA. And mukhang, ano, ma- malakas na NBA prospect din si Alex, antitokumpo. So, hindi malayong mangyari na mag-champion din siya. Oh. So, Anyway, balik tayo sa series. I think given naman na yun eh na maganda yung magiging laro ni ano ni Yanis. Maganda yung magiging laro nila Booker, nila Chris Paul, nila Chris Middleton. Pero ang naging story ng series na to is yung others. Ano ba nangyari nung game one, games 1 and 2 kaya nanalo yung Phoenix Suns? Mainit yung ano eh, mainit yung role players ng Suns eh. Oh, mainit si, mainit ma- si Cam Johnson, si mainit Michael si Bridges. Michael Bridges. Nag-28 points pa si Bridges nung game 2. Tapos si DeAndre Ayton din, sobrang ganda oh. ng laro nung f- first few games. Kaya marami nag-expect kay Bridges na actually mag- uh, magtuloy-tuloy eh. Pero hmm. ayun. Doon na nag-factor in yung kung bakit sila role players and bakit hindi ganong kagalingan ng role players pag wala sa home court. Uh, tapos, ayun nga, um, initially, akala ko din, magiging game 7 to na puro home, home wins lang. Yung turning point talaga was... Games, game 5. It started yung game 4. Oh. Nung, grabe yung place ni Yanis noon. Tapos, sinamahan mo pa nung scoring ni Middleton. Middleton. Oh. Ayun, so... Mainit kasi si Middleton tsaka si, ano na na, si, Bu, si Drew na na eh. So, naalala ko, ano, I was... Na, naabutan ko na lang doon, alam ko, second half na lang ata, mga siguro six minutes remaining sa third quarter. Na witness ko yung supalpal ni Yanis kay DeAndre Ayton. Talagang napatalon na ako sa ano eh, sa couch namin. Tapos, yung isa pa yung, ano, yung alyup ni Drew Holiday. Mm. Pabe yun, na Drew Holiday to Yanis. Actually, yung part na yun sa replay ko na lang ata nakita. Na, ano, na... Sobrang nipis yung, na execution eh. Yung pagkapasa ni Drew Holiday, alam mo para kay Yanis. Oh. Kasi sobrang tulin, tsaka ang taas. So, parang pagkapasa niya, imposibleng may makaabot nun. Eh, si Chris Paul lang yung nasa harap niya. Oh. Eh, ayun. Wala na, finish na. Tsaka ano, half court pa lang nakikita mo na mag-develop yung play eh. Kung, mm. kung ano, ang daming iconic plays na gano'n na half court pa lang nakikita mo na gaya nung alley ni J.R. Smith kay Lebron nung finals nung 2016. Yung chase down mm. ni Lebron nung 20, 2016. Ano pa ba yung mga gano'ng plays? Basta maraming mga gano'ng plays. Tsaka ano, may tagapagbana na si Lebron ng king of chase down blocks. Oo. Oh. And mukhang oh, for me, ah, parang mas effective pa yung ginagawa ni Yanis eh. Kasi sobrang haba niyang nilalang. Oh. Tapos, ang bilis pa niya umilos. And to do that, nakakagaling mo lang sa hyper-extended knee. Na actually, sinasabi nga ng mga experts, parang imposible daw na walang st- structural damage. Pero malay natin, baka sadyang demigod lang si oh. Yanis, kaya ganun. Mukhang ano eh, mukhang robot na si Yanis eh. Baka may ano to ah. Baka naka, P, naka PEDs na si Yanis ha. Hindi, <laughs> hindi siguro. Uh, hard work yan, hard work talaga oh. si Yanis. Nakita mo yung ano, yung comparison niya nung rookie year oh, niya. rookie year niya. Parang, ting, ting, parang ting, ting, talaga. kubo, tas tumangkad. Ako, aayay ko suntukan yun eh. Ngayon, di na. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Pero ay- ayun nga, yung story ng series na to, kung sino yung may mas marami nag-step up sa team nila, sila yung nananalo eh. And starting nung game 3, ano na, um, nag-start ng uminit si Chris Middleton, nag-start ng uminit si Drew Holiday. Pat Connaughton, I think the X-factor in this, ano, in this finals na hindi niya sinasayang yung mga wide open opportunities niya. Nakaka-tres, inconsistent. Meaningful and, yung minutes niya. Oh, hindi siya, ano, parang hindi siya, hindi sayang yung oras niya sa, sa court. Tapos, si Portis. Si Bobby Portis pala. Eh, especially kaninang, ano, mm. game six. Um, there was a time na sobrang flat na momentum ng, ano, ng laro, na lahat nagmimintes, ganun. I think this was in the first quarter or second quarter. Then, nung pinasok si Bobby Portis, ayun, malayup, naka three points. And yun, yun yung naging story ni Bobby Portis sa, uh, even in the Atlanta Hawks series. Actually, hindi siya nagamit masyado nung ano eh. Sa Brooklyn nung, eh. Sa Brooklyn. And, kahit ako nagtaka kasi, judging from the rotation of the Brooklyn Nets, mas gugustuhin kong starting center si Portis kaysa kay Lopez. Lopez eh. Pero, eh, nanalo naman sila. So, di, I think, eh, panalo naman sila. Hindi na ako aangal doon. Pero, na-unlock si Bobby Portis starting the Atlanta Hawk series. Na, off the bench, na, kung wala kayong momentum, bigyan nyo lang sa kanya. Tapos, yung taga-hype up ng crowd. Yung mga ganong ambag, hindi na sasama sa stat sheets yun eh. Hmm. Pero, ang laki yung impact nun. Eh, ikaw ba naman titigan ni Portis? Di ka ba maka-hype? <laughs> Natawa ako sa ano niya, sa pre-game routine. Parang bakit daw sobrang intense mong basketball player. <laughs> Sabi niya, ano, we don't condone violence pala dito, guys. Sabi niya, ano, ini-imagine niya daw yung kalaban, sinampal yung nanay niya para galit siya. <laughs> Grabe naman yun. Pero, eh, whatever works. Oh, whatever motivates kami, you to it. Hindi naman kami nang husga ni Jello. Oh. Pero, ayun nga, um, when Bobby Portis... Uh, the X Factor and I think ah, I'll be as bold to say as kung, kung wala si Bobby Portis baka hindi pa nananalo yung ano hindi pa nanalo yung ano yung box mm. may ano eh he made a uh, locker room impact dun sa team and even a uh, cultural impact dun sa crowd ng uh, ng Milwaukee kung mara mm. kung napanood mo yung post game eh yung nagchampion na sila nung awarding uh, yung, yung mga tao nagsisigaman talaga na naging fans sila ni Bobby Portis eh Eh, kahit naman ako maging yung panahon ni Bobby Portis Kasi iba yung impact niya doon sa team Meron ano talaga, X-Factor levels talaga si Portis Particularly nung ano, nung Sa Hawk series nila, nag-22 points pa ba siya Nung nawala si Anis uh, Tapos even in this series nga Na naging energy guy siya Every time na flat yung momentum ng box Tsaka nakatulong siya nung parts na Kailangan kumuha ng breeders ni Anis Kasi sobrang babad talaga Oo uh, so, I think, ano, may reason kaya in the past few seasons, limited minutes, hindi mo limited, pero hindi natin nakikita si Yanis na fumo 40 minutes a game, ganun. Hmm. Kasi wala siyang kapalit. Parang, grabe kasi yung i-give up mo kung tatanggalin mo si Yanis. Sino na yung de-depensa sa ilalim? Hmm. Sino na yung taga-switch sa mga screen? Mawawala ng ganun eh. Pero ngayon, may Bobby Portis na sila. So, I think yun yung naging ano, ambag ni Bobby Portis. And to be a household name sa Milwaukee in your first year, parang ang dami may favorite sa kanya. I feel ko, baka tumagal pa ng ilang years tong si Bobby Portis dito sa ano sa Milwaukee Bucks. Para na siya naging ano, Alex Caruso ng Milwaukee. Uh, Tapos, isa pang naging X-Factor din sa series na to, si PJ Tucker. Sobrang dami niyang key plays sa pagdepensa kay Chris Paul at kay Drew Holiday. Na nung first two games, talaga Booker, nung si Booker. <laughs> ay, sila, 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 yung pagdepensa kay Chris Paul at kay Booker. Kasi nung first games, talagang sinusunog ng sans yung box dun sa backcourt eh. Mm. Pero nung nag-switch sila na talagang si, si Tucker na yung babantay kay Booker, kaya na silang nagawa eh. Mm. Ang, ang pangit na ng performances ni Booker ay maliban na lang doon sa game 5. Uh-huh. Kaya ako actually pinili yung box even in, at the start of the NBA Finals. Yung sinabi ni Kobe eh, na defense wins championships. Eh, nakita nga natin yun na ah, grabe struggles ni Drew Holiday this series. Especially Game 6. Na 
I think 1 out of 11 yung start niya. Pero kung makikita mo yung impact niya sa defense na kunyari umiinit si Chris Paul, lalagay hmm. niya lang si Drew Holiday doon. Okay na. Parang Maki kasi niya eh. Tapos kung ano, magsi-switch si Holiday kay Booker or sa iba, big doon na score si Chris Paul. And I think ang major key kasi for the Suns to be successful is si Chris Paul. Hindi ako sure, mas feel, feel ko mas mabigat pa si Chris Paul kaysa kay Devin Booker eh. Sa hmm. kung impact lang for winning. So Ay na, um, ganun ka crucial si Drew Holiday na to limit yung veteran na guard na superstar ng kabilang team. Hmm. So kasi yung kumpleto talaga do sa ano, requirements ng box eh. Uh, hindi mo naman nasaan si Bledsoe na gagawin yun eh. And Drew hmm. actually provided yung mga parts na hindi kaya bigay ni Bledsoe. So, laki improvement in, in terms of intangibles at defensive IQ. Not to say na hindi magaling sa defense si Bledsoe kasi magaling naman siya pero iba si Drew kumpara sa kanya. And offense and playmaking. Uh, yun yung pinaka-crucial eh, playmaking. Hmm. So, ayun nga, sabi nga natin, medyo magiging awkward yung, yung plain ride nila <laughs> ni Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, and Devin Booker papuntang Tokyo. Kasi <laughs> parang kaka-ano lang eh, kaka-finals lang eh. Kaka-finals nyo lang, magkasama na kayo. Avilin mo Baka, ano eh, ang, pa, ang g- pinakamagandang seating dyan, nasa gitna nila si Booker. <laughs> Pero ano naman eh, alala ko 2016 Olympics. Nandun naman si Kyrie tapos si Clay Thompson. Ah, uh, hindi naman naging issue. Pero ito kasi parang ano eh, parang right after. So baka hindi, hindi talaga yun. magi-issue kay Clay Thompson 'yon, tol. Kasama na ni Thompson si Durant noon eh. Alam niya na siya champion noon eh. Ah, oo. So, <laughs> anyway, um baka makita tayo ng ano, yung tipong bukas naman si Booker. Si Pero di pinapasahan ni Drew Holiday. <laughs> baka yung, ano vice versa. Uh, uh, gagawin ko sa'yo. Di, di mo pinag-champion eh. Di mo pinag-champion eh. <laughs> Akin tong shots mo. Ayan. So, punta naman tayo sa Phoenix Suns kasi puro box na tong pinag-uusapan natin. I think this season, matalo man sila sa finals, is a success. Successful season naman to. Uh, I think, in my opinion, they overachieved eh. Mm. I only expected them to be in the first or second round. Oh, and I na, 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 di, hindi sila dapat two seed, in my opinion. Well, actually, deserve naman na mag-2-seed kasi they won the games. They actually won the games. Pero, uh, if you think about it, no start no season, they, they didn't look like a team that would be a 2-seed. Parang mid, mid-season sila oh. umayos eh. Na oh. doon na, na yung mga, mga five-game win streak, doon na nag-start. So, yung composition kasi ng team ng Suns, kumpleto eh. From guards to wings to defenders sa big men, kumpleto sila. So, parang makikita mo dun na, ano, na may capability tumagal. And as Laker fans nga, honestly, I honestly expected the Lakers to win yung, ano, yung first, first round series. Despite, uh, an, siguro mga 50% Lebron and mga 25% na Anthony Davis. Kasi... Lumamang sila ng 2-1 yun. Akala ko, tuloy-tuloy na. Pero nung na-injure si Anthony Davis, ay shucks. Hmm. Parang wala na to. Kasi, ang lakas ni DeAndre Ayton eh. Hmm. Pero, kung di siguro injured yung dalawa, I think it's the Lakers series to win talaga. Uh-oh. Kasi, ano eh, uh, di, if you look at it talaga, yung box, uh, yung Suns, ba sila natalo sa box? Maturity eh. Maturity hmm. eh. And so, ganun na ano, yung magiging concern kung healthy yung Lakers. Pero, eh, ayun nga, nakalagpas naman yung Suns. And since yung mga nakatapat nilang teams moving forward sa playoffs aren't as well tenured as compared to the Bucks or the Lakers, talagang kaya nilang umabot Saka, ano, um injury played a factor talaga. Uh, Guys, I think naman kung nandun si Jamal Murray sa Sanat. Denver, tatagal uh, yun. Tatagal I think yun. Maka umabot ng seven games yun eh. Hmm. Tapos, fact, uh, I think kayang manalo ng Nuggets doon kasi ganun kagaling si Jokic. Tapos, nung conference finals naman, walang kawaii Leonard eh. What do you oh. expect? So, parang, pero that time kasi, ano na eh, parang nagkiklik na talaga yung Phoenix Suns eh. So, I can argue na kahit nandun si kawaii, hmm. may palag. I'm not saying na matatalo sila or mananalo, pero I expect them It to have a... It would be a better series. Long series, yeah. Oh. 
So, ayan, pero moving forward, ano bang kailangan gawin net netong Suns? Should they just implode? Run it back? Run it back. Run it back. In best cases, they should run it back. Check for other pieces. Probably do sa, po- sa front court. Kasi walang backup si ano eh. Si Eton eh. Meron silang isa ngayon. Pang- Nakalimutan ko yung pangalan niya. Si Jalen, ano ba yun? Yung ah, bata, bata pa. Bata, uh, bata, bata, bata pa siya eh. Ano siya? Yung nakagagals na center. Sobrang bro pa. Na pwede siguro na yung develop. Pero I think they should look for better on options. Maybe a Dwight Howard. Uh, Javel McCurb or, uh, or Bismarck Biombo yung mga available sa free agency kasi si Kaminsky sobrang ano eh sobrang mas, ano nga ano situational mas siya, oh, hindi siya ano eh especially kung may mga kalaban kang Joel Embiid yan is under the room po hindi mo siya magagamit eh oh. kailangan mo siya sa mga small ball lineups mo siya magagamit kasi shooter siya tapos he can provide the size or sayang si Dario Saris siya na injured pero I think he wouldn't have much of an impact in this series kasi hindi rin naman siya ganun ka-steady na defender. More an offensive player kasi uh, siya. And parang big man playmaker siya. So I think so, they, ano, yun, yun yung kailangan ng Phoenix to look for players like that. Who knows, maybe iba ka off out of his contract and mm-hmm. he goes to the Phoenix Suns. Ang malaking bagay yun. And um, ayun, um, ano lang, improvement lang talaga ng roster. Kasi ang galing na ni Cam Johnson at his age Uh, he's playing great in his role. Same for Michael Bridges. I think Michael Bridges can be as all-star mm. in Dig- two years. Yung mga ano, two to three years. Kasi remember, champion ano yun, champion player sa Villanova yung si ano si Michael Bridges. So, sana yan sa culture of winning. Mm. And with Monty Williams as your coach, panatag ako eh. Kasi they started last year eh. Na... Akala nga natin, magpa-playoffs pa yung Phoenix Suns. Eh. And who knows, baka nung time na yun, pumalag sila sa Lakers. Eh, mm. Kasi di nangyari. So, ay parang ano, ang ganda ng build-up ng Suns leading to this year. For me naman, they should just run it back. Ang main concern nila dito, si Chris Paul. Kasi, mm. Chris Paul, I think if I were him, mas practical na mag-ring chase ngayon eh. Kasi nakailang teams na ako na ano na nag-playoffs pero hindi naman naging successful. Para napunta napunta siya sa Houston Rockets na sadly kinapos tapos na injure pa siya. Tapos napunta siya ng OKC na hindi naman talaga meant to be mag-playoffs last year. I think that was a fluke to be honest na Umabot sila ng 7th seed, tama ba? Mm. Hindi, ng 5th seed pala, sorry. Akala ko maging rebuilding team sila, pero they proved me wrong na, ano, nakaya nila. Tapos, nung napunta siya ng Phoenix Suns, no one expected them to be a contender. Perhaps a uh, playoff team, for sure. Pero, yung talaga magpa-finals, hindi ko rin in-expect eh. So, with that, um, I, they, they should just run it back. Ang main, number one priority nila is keeping Chris Paul. Kasi from the reports, ang alam ko, naghahanap ng multi-year deal tong si Chris Paul. At his hmm. age, hindi ko alam sino magbibigay nun sa kanya. Hmm. I think he can still get a three-year deal. Ang magiging concern na lang dyan is how much. Hmm. Uh, kung ako siguro yung team, I'd pay him around 20 million a year. And that's about it. Hindi na ako tataas ng 30 kasi that would put you in a really top spot. And kung ring chasing, bihira yung teams na kaya magbigay sa kanya ng ganong contract. Mm. And yung naisip ko nga, Brooklyn Nets, pero ang gagawin wala na na, I mean, ano, wala naman ng cap space yung ano eh, Brooklyn. Tsaka magiging six man siya behind uh, Kyrie. Kyrie. Hindi po, hindi yeah, pwede. pwede. The so, Sixers na. naman, The Sixers. okay sana, kaso would it be worth it for the Sixers to do it a Ben Simmons for Chris Paul trade Lugi uh, Lugi ako for me ah Lugi yung Sixers uh, Lugi yung kasi Sixers. bata pa si, si ano eh Ben Simmons si ano si Chris Paul though wala pa siya nakikitang signs of aging magkakaroon na magkakaroon si Lebron James nga diba nakitaan na natin so hmm. I'm pretty sure Chris Paul Siguro naman, starting next year, magde-decline na. Hopefully, hindi ma-injure. Pero nakita natin kay Kyle Lowry eh. After nung uh, finals, ano, nung championship season nila. 
the following year, impactful pa din, pero yung numbers, Nag-dip. medyo nag-decrease na. So, uh, na- nadagdagan na lang yung load nila si Yakam, nila Van Vliet. And, and, so, ano yun nga, um, I expect the Phoenix Suns to, if they ever, if ever na-resign nila si Chris Paul, na bababa yung role niya, pero it means na more touches for DeAndre Ayton, more touches for Devin Booker, mm-hmm. Cam Johnson, um, Sky Michael Bridges. So, I think if the Suns run it back, kaya nila mag-finals next year. So, yeah, with that said, Tol, uh, sa tingin mo ba, this would be a finals rematch by next year? Ako kasi hindi eh. Malabo, malabo, uh-huh. to be honest. Kasi, assuming ha, na 100% healthy, which never happens, by the way. <laughs> lagi, lagi meron at merong injured dyan. Parang lahat nga ng finals may ano, asterisk oh, dahil sa mga injury na yun. Eh. Anong, parang kahit kila Jordan ata, may mga asterisk pa yun eh. Uh-huh. So, let's see. As much as I want uh, an LA Lakers... Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nets or perhaps Milwaukee Bucks match up na magcha-champion yung Lakers. Um I think kaya naman siguro mga 25%. Oh, mababang, may chance, may chance. Mababang percentage, may chance pero not likely. I think it would be more likely kung Lakers Bucks or Lakers Nets or maybe pero, Clippers Nets. Hindi na naman sabi kasi si Kawhi lang naman yun nang wala do sa Clippers eh. They were good enough to make it to the conference finals. Mm. So, yung Bucks, I'm confident na oh, kaya nila. Kaya nila. Kayang, kayang, kayang kaya nila. I think si Yanis, mas gagaling pa yan, 26 mm. years old. If he won a championship, scored 50 points without a jump shot, paano pa kaya kung, kung meron? Kung meron, di ba? Eh, nagsisimula na nga eh. Kanina, ang dami niya mga ano, post-fade away. Though, medyo ano, inside perimeter lang. So, pero may progress, ibig sabihin. Tapos nakakita nga natin yung dirt fade away niya. Na mm. I think kung i-develop niya, sobrang unstoppable. Parang kay Kevin Durant, gano'n. Mm. Ayan, guys. Uh, ayan, sana nag-enjoy tayo lahat sa finals. Grabe, isang season okay. na naman ng NBA ang natapos. And by tomorrow, probably start na ng NBA of season na actually yung pinaka-exciting na part ng NBA season para sa akin. More so than the finals, more so than any part of the season. Pag wala, yung team mo sa, ano, pag wala yung team mo sa finals, uh, yun yung, esca- yun yun yung exciting. Yun yung mo. <laughs> Kasi ang dami yung pwede mangyari. Tsaka hindi lang naman yung team mo, yung mga... Lahat, yung, lahat. Yung biglang uh, player X wants to go to this team pala bigla, this, this granted star wants out of this team. Nakaka-excite, abangan yung mga news eh. Kasi may inaabangan kang free agent na di mo alam sa siya pupunta. Uh, or di ka makatulog. <laughs> Oh, naalala ko pa yung kay Kawhi Leonard doon eh. Oh, let's see. Nasa, nasa karinderya ako noon eh. Nagre-refresh ako ng ano. Nagre-refresh ako ng Twitter. Tapos, anong Kawhi Leonard Clippers? O, oh, yung nangyari yun. So, ayan guys. And marami mga big names ngayon sa... Si Kawhi, nagbabalik. Oh, sa off-season. So, <laughs> sa... Yeah, tama. Sa off-season. Oh. Sa free agency. So, guys, next week, mag upload kami ng ano. Uh, ng, ng free agency. Ng free agency thoughts namin. Uh, Pero, for now, um, congratulations to the Milwaukee, Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks. Even the Phoenix Suns for uh, uh, ano, a great finals match up uh, now. No one expected kasi dalawang small market teams. Pero, they proved na hindi nagmamatter kung anong gano ka man kalaki or kaliit na team. If malakas ang team mo, kaya nyo mag-champion. And Yun you don't na. need to build a super team hmm. to be an NBA champion. Much love to Yanis na pinatunayan na uh, sabi nga niya, he can join a super team, do his part, win a championship, pero he did it the hard way and he did it. Grabe. Ayan, so before we end this video, Tol, ano ang finals prediction mo next year? I'd say assuming na walang injuries lahat, ha? Lakers box. Same, same. Lakers box. And I, I'm taking the Lakers in 6 siguro. Oh, 7. Ever. 7. Oh. Maunat tong box eh. Oh, yan is ma, ano, unstoppable talaga. Oh. Anyway guys, that's it for the video. Um, Again, we're Palm Hoops Podcast. Make sure to like, comment, share this video. And subscribe and click the notification bell to be updated on our newest releases. 
Don't forget to follow our social media accounts. Just check the description down below for the details. And this episode is also available in Spotify and Anchor and Google Podcasts. Links are also in the description. And guys, and if you are a Filipino podcaster from the Philippines, syempre, and you're looking to monetize your podcast, go to podmetrics.co and use our code POMS podcast when you register. Ayun, natulungan nyo na yung podcast namin na lumaki. Natulungan po kayo sarili mo na kumita sa podcasting. Uh, making money out of our passion is one thing that will help us all growing the community dito sa Pilipinas sa mga Filipino podcasters. So, ayun guys, if you are a Filipino podcaster, go to podmetrics.co and register using our code POMOVES PODCAST and just a screen and as a description then down below. And lastly, if you're planning to do some online shopping, use our Shopee affiliate link that is currently flashed on your screen right now. That is podlink.co slash 99. So, if you use our affiliate link, you'll be able to enjoy additional perks such as discounts, cashbacks, um, free shipping vouchers, etc. So, and don't forget to use our link para natulungan nyo na na lumaki yung podcast namin. At the same time, matutulungan din namin kayo makatip- makatipid ng ilang pesos. So, ayun, um, beneficial naman sa ating dalawa or sa ating dalawa. Sa atin na... Eh, yeah, natulungan niyo yung channel namin and matutulungan din namin kayo. So, there's actually no reason para hindi niyo gamitin yung affiliate link namin. So, yun guys. Again, uh, we are back this week. Nagpahinga lang ako kante. Again, my name is Jello. This is my partner, Jen. And this is Pomus Podcast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Yeah. Congratulations, Bucks. Yep. Giannis MVP. <laughs> <laughs>